Uh, I am here, Thomas is here, Meg is here, Barb's here, Chuck's here, Wick is here, Jim is here. Is there anything for public comment this evening? No. Uh, I want to make an introduction and I'm actually going to put them a little bit on the spot. Um, but mm -hmm. this weekend is Recruit New York. Um, as we all know, um, we are very fortunate to have five uh, volunteer fire districts and uh, anything that we can do to promote um, the activity of recruiting for the departments. Um, I, I would like to see us continue to do that. But uh, Chuck has been active in uh, not only his own department, but trying to get some more people. Do you want to talk about some of the activities this weekend? Uh, yes, the five fire departments, and actually we've met fairly regularly since the first of the year, and that's going to be a continuation, I believe, uh, to try to have the five fire departments within the, desk, within the town work together a little bit more. Uh, share some services amongst ourselves, training, etc. Uh, one of the programs that we worked on is the Recruit New York uh, that's going to occur this Saturday uh, from 10 to 2. Each one of the fire stations is going to be <coughs> open with members there. Uh, each department is planning a demonstration at their own station at noon. Uh, so maybe uh, uh, accident victim extrication, uh, water rescue, etc. Uh, also, together, the five departments at Consumer Square are going to have a static display set up from 10 until 2, uh, right behind Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, so we'll have uh, the aerial devices from uh, District 3 South Plattsburgh there. Uh, Cumberland Head is going to put a water tank down and have some of their folks there with, uh, with the wetsuits on. Uh, and just try to entice some people to join the fire service. Uh, each department's going to have their own applications there. And we're going to have the contact information for the other departments from throughout the county. There's 22 departments in the county uh, have their contact information because we know not all the people that are going to stop in are going to be from the town of Plattsburgh. So. That's, great. That's all day Saturday? Uh, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Trying to make it a targeted event. So. Could, could I ask a question? Sure. sure. Um, how how um, well staffed are your departments, and what is the average age in your fire departments? The average age would be tough from the top of the number right from that, Debbie. Right now, I would say that all five departments are adequately staffed. Uh, there's not a lot of extra hands mm -hmm. within the departments. Uh, to your point with average age, I wouldn't be able to pinpoint that number for you. Uh, if I were to say anything compared to 20 years ago, it's much higher the average age is than, than it was. So um, you're not getting the youth as, not, in, as interested, let's put that way. Correct, correct. And that, that's been a bit of a struggle. <clears throat> and, you know, there's an understanding with that. Uh, you know, almost every household is a dual income household today. Right. Uh, we understand. Uh, you know, that portion of it, the training is, is a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. We can work with the members with that and, and ease that a little bit. Uh, it's a time commitment. There's no question about it. And you do take ladies? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. That's important because I think a lot of people don't know that. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and a young lady I think they're right. A lot of people yeah. don't know yeah, that. Yeah, they don't know that. No. Young, young lady that was on the on the engine with us the other night. We, you know, we had a we did have a house fire, and she was on the engine with us. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and to uh, Debbie's point, so hopefully you'll have women, and I think you will. At, uh, I events. know we are at our station. Yeah, I know. I, think that's I know a, young ladies with us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Huh. So thank thank you for that. Yeah. Just thanks, Chuck. Sure. Now, um, <clears throat> yeah, the, the the training. I mean, yeah. it's. What is it, 120 basics, thereabouts? That's that's to be a basic interior yeah. firefighter, yes. Yeah. But then there's you know yearly refresh on top of that that has to be maintained for you. So thank you. That really was kind of the highlight that I want to uh, just make sure that we touch upon. Uh, in your materials, you have uh, draft minutes, and this evening I want to introduce um, uh, something. Uh, Keeping in the theme, I think it's it's fairly fitting this weekend. Uh, Wally Day, 50 years of service as a firefighter uh, at the request of the South Plattsburgh Fire Department. Uh, whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board peri 
Logically, excuse me, it recognizes individuals who have demonstrated leadership and commitment to our community, and whereas the service to others is a hallmark of the American character and central to how we meet our challenges, and whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board recognizes that voluntary service to our community both valued and necessary part of life, and whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board wished to recognize such individuals in Mr. Wally Day, a resident of the town, and a 50-year member of the South Plattsburgh Fire Department. Whereas Mr. Day, as a firefighter, has held many ranks in his years of service, not only as a firefighter, fire chief, and chair of the Board of Fire Commissioners, but with many roles of leadership that have been benefited our community with his extensive knowledge and foresight. Now, therefore, it be resolved, the Town of Plattsburgh Town Board, on behalf of all residents, wish to express to Mr. Wally Day appreciation and gratitude for all of his years of service to the residents of the Town of Plattsburgh and Clinton County, and be it further resolved that it is encouraged that residents to recognize this positive impact of service to our town and its community and thank those who serve and find ways to give back to their communities as Mr. Wally Day has. And I would ask for a, a motion and a second to it and then we'll have a, a one signed by everybody. Yeah, so we, can we just have it, one motion with everyone? Sure. Moved by everyone. Sure. All moved. All say aye. 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 All right. Perfect. Thank you very much. Michael, can you just make an amendment for the final? The, yep. The one, two, three, four, five, whereas, uh, but with many roles, just R yep. O L E S, that's all. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. <coughs> um, the other one that I want you to bring to the floor tonight <coughs> is Resolution 78, Mr. Rick. Okay. <clears throat> Whereas there is a vacancy for the position of a town clerk typist in the accounting department. Whereas interviews for the aforementioned position were conducted of eligible candidates provided by Clinton County Department of Personnel. Whereas upon completion of the interviews, as a recommendation of the finance manager that Karen Pepper be appointed to the vacant accounting department account clerk typist position. And be it resolved that the town board is hereby authorized the hiring and appointment of Karen Pepper to the vacant position of account clerk typist at a rate of pay of $19.50 <coughs> per hour, effective May 31st, 2019. And to be further resolved, the supervisor is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents for Karen Pepper's appointment for a probationary period of 12 months. And it be further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager, one be forwarded to the Clinton County Department of Personnel, and a copy be placed in Ms. Pepper's personnel file. Is there a motion? So Second. Well, Dave, uh, I just want to add a couple of things for uh, <coughs> discussion. This position is one that we've had. Uh, there was uh, one, someone that left the team. Mm -hmm. Um, it was kept vacant for a period of time um, until that we could find the right fit and go through that process. Um, and also we are doing the new software integration too. So getting through some of that training and this person will be stepping in on the tail end of the new software. So it's really good timing. Uh, the idea wasn't to bring somebody in to train them on old software to then train them on new software. Uh, so that was kind of why we held off on a couple of things too. So, um, and she needs an extended period of time to uh, inform her employer. So, so we're working within that spec. Okay? okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So passes. The other draft material uh, is a request for Scott and Steve uh, to attend training. And then the last is a request for the end of Smart Growth Consultant. Um, and then this evening, uh, I will accept a motion to go into executive session with no action to be taken, but on the two subject areas of um, collective bargaining negotiations per Article 14 of Civil Service and the, uh, where is it, the employment history of a particular person um, and work history. Is there a motion to that effect? So moved. All right. Is there? <coughs> I'll second. There's no other litigation that you need to. There's nothing you want to. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. 
609. 